the price of rice is reduced by 2%, how many kilograms of rice can now be bought for the money that was sufficient to buy 49 kgs of rice earlier? Okay, let us put it this way. We have the price, the quantity and the amount required. Let us assume that earlier the price of rice was 100 rupees per kg and the quantity that was bought was 49 kilograms. Now the amount required if the price is 100 rupees per kg and the quantity is 49 kg will be 100 times 49. So 4900 rupees was required to buy 49 kgs of rice if the price was 100 rupees. Now it is said that the price of rice is reduced by 2%. So we are reducing the price by 2% which means that the price now becomes 100 minus 2 which is 98 rupees per kg. Now we have to find the quantity if the amount is the same. So 4900 rupees is the amount and with this amount how much quantity of rice can be bought. So again this is actually 98 times x is equal to 4900. So x is equal to 4900 upon 98 and that is equal to 49 times 100 is 4900 and 49 times 2 is 98. So this is actually 50. So 50 kgs of rice can be bought. In an examination, 34% of the students failed in mathematics and 42% failed in English. If 20% of the students failed in both the subjects, then the percentage of students who passed in both the subjects was. Okay, let us consider that the total number of students in this class was 100. Now let us draw a Venn diagram here. This rectangle consists of all of the students which are 100 in number. Now out of these 100 students, those in this blue circle are the students which failed in mathematics and those are 34 in number. And in this pink circle are the students who failed in English. So these are 42 in number. Now these two circles overlap which means that there are students who failed in both the subjects. Now we have to calculate the percentage of students who passed in both the subjects. Now the rest of the students it means that passed in both the subjects. Right. So treat this like a problem of area. You have to calculate this area with blue dots. Firstly, let us calculate the total number of students who failed. So total failed is equal to M plus E. That means the total number of students who failed in maths and the number of students who failed in English. But when you do that, you take M completely and then take E completely. When you do that, you count this area twice. That means you count the number of students who failed in both the subjects, maths and English twice. So you will have to subtract it, that area at least once. And you have been given what amount is that area? That is 20. 20% 20 of the students failed in both the subjects. So M plus E minus 20. So this is equal to 34 plus 42 minus 20. So the total number of students who failed is equal to 56 students. Now we have been asked the percentage of students who passed in both the subjects which means that we will have to subtract the total failed from the complete number of students. Total passed or the students who passed in both the subjects is equal to the complete number of students 100 minus the total failed which is 56. So it is equal to 44. So our answer is option A. Out of 450 students of a school, 325 play football, 175 play cricket and 50 neither play football nor cricket. How many students play both football and cricket? Well, it is given that 50 
people neither play football nor play cricket. So I can say that the students who play either football or cricket as equal to the total number of students minus the people who don't play. So 450 minus 50. So that is 400 students play at least either football or at least either cricket. Now I have this Venn diagram for you. There are some people who play football and some people who play cricket and some of them play both of these sports marked by this red shaded area. Now you have been given students who play either football or cricket which means this complete area this complete area encircled by this red lines. So to get the number of students who play in this area which means those students who play both football and cricket you'll have to first add people who play football and the people who play cricket and then subtract the complete area so that you remain with this shaded red area. How is that possible? Well when you add football and cricket you are basically counting this area this red shaded area twice and when you subtract this whole thing you only subtract this shaded area once so only the shaded area remains so students who play both football and cricket is equal to the total number of students playing football plus the total number of students playing cricket minus all of the students who play either football or cricket. So mind that this F is the number of students who play only football. C is the number of students who play only cricket minus this 400. So this is equal to 325 plus 175 minus 400. This is equal to 100. So 100 students play both football and cricket. So option C is the right answer.